Not another one. Not another one. You know, I really don't have much patience, and I certainly don't have no love for sociopaths, whether they are running around in the streets creating havoc, or whether they are in our government wreaking havoc. I have no patience, no tolerance for sociopaths and straight up narcissists. Somebody needs to explain to me how, well, this week it's at least 22 dead in Maine shot down by another serial crazy man. He opened fire in several locations. Firearms expert, they did name a person of interest. But at least 22 people, at least, Oh, my heart goes out to them and family because we're living in a madhouse. We're living in a madhouse. And the fact that our, our Congress people won't do anything about all these AR 47s, these rifles, these mass destructive uh, vehicles of destruction. The fact that they won't do anything about it, they go to show you just how much they care about us as the American people. All they really care about is money. There is no way in the world a sane and rational civilization. So this ain't no civilization. And they got the nerve to call other people savages. But here you got a group of politicians, Democrat and Republican. Who won't do nothing about this NRA being unwilling? Not, I mean, the, the Congress people is what I'm trying to say. Being unwilling to stop taking so much money from the NRA to the point where they'll just let anything happen because of it and make an excuse. Oh my God. And make an excuse for why it's happening. I mean, it's pitiful, and we got to do something about this family. A possible suspect behind the deadly main mass shooting reported hearing voices threatened to shoot up base where he was stationed. Okay. And y'all let him get off the goddamn base? That's where I'm at with it. You let him off the base and he talking crazy like that? I don't want to hear no, well, he, yeah, we all got mental health problems. Dealing with this sick in society? Yeah. But we got to get the guns out of the hands. These type of weapons. I mean, we, we got to, Something's got to give. Something has got to give. Y'all know it. This is not a society. How are we going to sustain ourselves like this? We shoot babies. We kill kids at school. We do everything. We the only supposed to be free, rational society that's performing like this. No other country. No other country has this much killing. This dude killed at least 22 people in three separate shootings in Lewiston, Maine. And he's still on the loose. The suspect is believed to have gunned down 22 victims and injured another 50 or more. At multiple locations, including a bowling alley. 
see. Nowhere. No. Police sources identify the possible suspect as Robert Card, 40, and say he may be driving a white Subaru Outback. Card of Bolton, Maine, is a trained firearms instructor believed to be in the Army Reserve stationed out of Seiko, Maine, according to the law enforcement sources of the state. He recently reported hearing voices and threatened to shoot up the National Guard base where he was stationed. Again, and they didn't put his ass in lockdown? This fool who should be considered armed and dangerous was reportedly committed to a mental health facility over the summer and was released after a two-week stay. Police identified the possible suspect again as Robert Carr. Man, I hope somebody. Maine State Police said the man is, is believed to be in Lewiston and advised local residents and businesses to lock their doors and shelter in place. Stay off the streets and allow the law enforcement to defuse the situation. Authorities did not provide details on the shooting and possible victims, but the sheriff's office uh, shared two images of the suspect carrying a rifle and said there were two active sh uh, shooter events on his Facebook page done by the same guy. However, the gunman may have Open fire in a third location, according to local police. Emergency personnel were called to a separate shooting at a spare time recreation bowling alley. Boy. Uh, and I bet they're going to give him a, a burger and walk him into the police station. I bet he don't catch no bullet. Oh, God. This is just really sad. Anyway, active shooter. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Make a comment. You can even make a down, thumbs down if you want to, but just participate, please. I'll see you in the next one.